um, on an on another new line, then that cursor is given to this uh, second method of write. Now the second method is already starting uh, from another new line. That's why we see the second sentence is being printed out on uh, on. On, on a new line rather than being printed out right beside the first sentence that's why uh, we actually uh, that's why uh, that's how we actually see the difference between the right line and the right method now let's move on to um, something else like how do we deal with numbers um, there are actually several ways so um, I have already shown you how um, integers um, integers characters and strings work now um, what happens if you want to um, use or if you want to print out a value that's in decimal form which means you have a number that ha has several digits or that has um, that has got uh, at least one digit after a decimal point so integer is basically a whole number with no decimal points or no digits after the decimal point but what happens when we try to print out a value like um, when we try to print out a value that has got a decimal point like in currency calculations or in uh, calculations that involve monetary um, monetary values like you, you want to purchase something that costs uh, around 20.01 dollar so in integer when you try to um, store something into an integer variable then it's going to take that value it's going to take that 20.01 value and then it's going to it's only going to store 20 inside your integer variable and the rest uh, the rest means the digits that that are coming after the decimal point it will actually cut that off throw that away and store only the first two digits which is before decimal it's going to store them inside the variable like let me show you an example let's minimize this so if we create a variable um, if we create a variable of integer like um, let's name the variable as money or monetary value and let's store something like this 20.01 now what I was talking about is that um, it's going to take this value the compiler is going to take this value but before it takes the value it's going to look at the data type that's coming before the variable name so when it looks at the data type and then it's going to look at the value that's being stored inside this variable so it's going to match both of those uh, bo or both of those things like it's going to match the value with this data type but it sees the compiler when when it tries to compile your code it will look at this value this numeric value and it sees that it has got a decimal and some digits after the decimal we have provided two um, two digits after the decimal point so it looks at both of those both of those digits after the decimal and then it looks at the data type now what it what it will do is that it's going to cut those two digits along with the decimal point and then it's going to store only 20 inside your variable so that's not what we want basically we want something like um, we want to store the value as it is and we want to show the value as it is now there are there is another way of doing it so we do not store the numeric value as whole numbers we store as decimal points so there are three types of three ways of storing decimal points one is using the float data type the second one is um, using the double um, uh, double data type and the third one is using the decimal data type now these three data types for storing any decimal values have their own distinctions the distinctions actually lies inside the um, inside your memory allocation now float can store up to four bytes of data 
then we have got uh, double which can store up to 8 bytes of data and decimal which can actually store up to 16 bytes of data now if you have uh, if you need to do calculation that requires like uh, 1 billion dollar or 1.1 billion dollar or something like uh, 13 trillion dollar or something like that then you can you should actually go for a data type that involves decimal uh, uh, decimal not something like float or double because in s when you try to store a huge value that requires trillions or that requires billions as as their um, uh, inside your variable then float or double won't actually provide you with the flexible flexibility of storing them inside the memory because it will actually overwrite the space or it will actually um, try to squeeze them or perhaps it will throw an error because it doesn't have that many space inside the memory so all you need to do is to store this value in decimal form but because we are not providing such a large value we can actually st uh, store this value in float so a float can store um, up to eight four bytes of data then we have got um, something like double and it can store up to 8 bytes of data let's create another variable called monitor 2 and we will look at the output now if you require precision a very accurate I mean uh, not very accurate like you want your values to at least reach near 99% accurate uh, or precise then you should go for something like the decimal data type so let's actually store something like um, 1000 point um, 92912 then we can go for decimal and uh, let's do some sort of calculations like um, let's do something like 19.90 or like 09 yep and let's do the same thing in here there won't be much difference although it's just to show you an example how, of how the precision works so let's paste them in here now we can actually um, erase all of them we don't need them we just need one right line method and um okay let's provide monetary value then we have okay this should be not two this should be three then let's go for two then let's go for three let's some let's write something like float and let's provide the value that's stored inside the floats variable and we do that by uh, placing using the format specifier then we do provide the value that's stored in double and it's one so remember your counting will always start from zero so if you want to print out the value that's stored inside this first variable um, then you should connect that variable with a format specifier that has got the value of zero now the second one will have as usual the uh, next consecutive number of one and now the third one will obviously have something like two uh, not like obviously two so um, now we need the decimal one and let's 
do that and let's save this now let's recompile our code okay we have got an error um, so the error is actually like we are um, trying to convert um, one thing to the other